So, you want to have a seat? We'll call Tammy because she's on her lunch break. Okay. We'll okay. video chat the How are things at the facility? Yeah, it's going. I miss eating so much. I miss my bed. I miss my house. I miss my own things. I want to come home. Does the facility think you need to stay in there? Or do you, or is it you just wanting to come home? I, I mean... They want you to stay is what it is, right? Yeah. That is total So how much weight have you lost totally? 59 pounds. I thought you were supposed to stay up there until you lost 100 pounds. Now she's wanting to come home. That makes me anxious because she don't have a good track record of coming home and sticking to a diet. Yeah, she lost some weight. Don't get me wrong. Kudos to you, But you still got a whole lot of weight to lose before you can have the surgery. Good to work. I'm not giving up. Just because I'm homesick and want to come home does not mean I'm giving up. Y'all need to have more faith in me. I'm not mad at you about anything. I'm not mad at you. But I'm disappointed that you're coming home early. All right, we'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. When I dropped Tammy off, I had high hopes that she was actually going to take the right step forward. But she hasn't made her 100-pound weight go yet. So doubts are really setting in if she's going to stick to the diet after she gets home. It's cold. Hey, Tammy. How's it going? Yeah, good. Are you sure you want to come home? I'm just worried about you falling off the wagon. I mean, I understand your concern, but I want to do it on my own. Tammy's an addict, and there's no difference between a food addiction than a heroin addiction. They got to want to get better. Forcing Tammy to stay there, she's not going to do anything the doctors want, and she's liable to get kicked out of the facility if, if we put her in that situation. Ow! Remember what I told you. You're Just right. keep saying no. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> if you need us for anything, call us. Okay? Good luck. Thank you. All right. Have Thank a safe you. trip. Thank you. You ready for this long ride back, Tammy? Yes. You stink. All I know is that heat feels wonderful. It don't smell wonderful. <laughs> Tammy, we home, by God. We got Uncle Chris and Brittany and Aunt Tammy. As we pulled up to the house, Amy, Michael, and Gage were sitting outside. About time. I missed a little bit of oak. Hold on, let me get her some shoes. No, what? How are you going to get in there? Even though I'm happy to see Tammy, we don't really show emotions in this family. But I didn't expect her to bite my head off when she came in the door. Mama. 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 What are you doing, dear friend? Huh? He's just old. He's just old. Amy, does Tammy look like she's lost some weight? I can't really tell she's with fine. my blindness. <laughs> If she loses a lot, lot, like over 300, I could probably tell. But 60, I can't really tell. And I'm not trying to be mean about it, I just can't. Is my eyesight going bad too? Cause she ain't lost no weight. I'm trying, damn. What? Yeah. Even though I don't agree with Tammy coming home, I still wanted to make the place right and make her feel like she was missed. 
because that's what sisters do, even though one sister does it more than the other. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I just hope that she will do what she needs to do. My heart is telling me that she's going to go back on the way she was, but my head is telling me try to be optimistic. Optimistic. <laughs> Don't use big words that you can't say. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you trying to figure out who I am? How was the drive? Long. Chris kept farting on me. Hey, that right. How many what times did it take before? Don't worry, lie. <laughs> I can't help it. It wasn't a bad ride. It was long, but I mean, Tammy handled it a whole lot better coming down. She did going up. That's good. So, she was able to walk probably 15 or 20 steps. So that was, there's obviously, there's a lot of improvement that she's done since she's been gone. So I'm really proud of her for that. Tammy, I got you a present. What the hell is that? Open it. Tammy can't use the kitchen stove because the knobs are so far away and her belly gets in between her and the stove. Oh, crap. So I gave Tammy this cooktop and this table so she can be independent, and I ain't got to do it for her. We know that you have issues <clears throat> with the oven and the stove because you can't reach over it. So we got it to help you be more independent. You don't have any excuse. A good time. I ain't camping. Not that country. This is a strange gift. It's like, here, start cooking. Return us under. We cannot let you continue the way you were. That's almost different. I understand that, and I'm glad. But at the same time, there's going to have to be rules, you know, some some rules set. Just at least try. I guess I wouldn't. This is kind of frustrating. You know, first day home, I don't want to hear them set rules. I lost some weight. Why can't they give me a break? So today, me and Michael are going to a plastic surgeon's office to see about getting skin removal surgery. It really affects my confidence because my belly hangs over. Hello. You know what a droopy dog is? Where well, they got all those skin folds and stuff. No, a basset hound. Yeah, I'm a hound. A what? A basset hound. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm going to be ready for your chat with Dr. Zig. First of all, you and I need to discover exactly what changes you're looking to do. So most of my problem areas is like here, here, my bingo wingy. I feel like I'm gonna fly away sometimes. All right, well, we have a solution for that. We're gonna do a virtual image of your face and I'm gonna show you the changes that we can make. Okay. Go ahead and stand in front of this machine. Now scoot forward one inch. I don't know what an inch is, is that a foot? Okay. No, an inch is like this big, okay? So here we go. And you can go ahead and have a seat. So here we go. Oh my God, I'm ugly. I look like a sloth. I look really weird without hair. Let's start with the chin, because that's everybody's major concern. Mm -hmm. Well, let Dr. Zig make all the decisions, but probably starting with just some liposuction and skin tightening. As you can see here, the volume reduction gives a new jawline. Yeah. How do you get rid of this? So we're gonna soften this line here. It's not gonna be completely gone because that would be awkward, but it's gonna be less noticeable. I and just then, need a magic eraser. <laughs> we have the magic. See, my before and after pictures, I was like, damn, I look like I did in high school. If I could look like I did in high school, I'd get that done, plus do some more so it make me look like I'm from elementary school. I want to be baby in me a year. Hello? 
I'm Paul Zig. Nice to meet you, I'm Amy. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm Michael. Hi, Michael. So, uh, you had a gastric bypass a couple of years ago and lost about 140 pounds? Yeah. So, um, let me see your arm if I can. Why don't you kind of make a muscle for me? And I'm going to say that's probably about five pounds of fat. Can you lay back for me for can a I moment? Can I pull this down? Yeah, you can. Um, so do you get rashes in the summertime yeah. here? Yeah, especially now that I've lost all the weight. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't as bad as before. That's a very common problem. He examined every part of me, my booze, my neck, even my chub rub. What is it called? <laughs> chub rub. Your chubby, fat-ass belly is rubbing up against your chubby-ass leg. <laughs> so, what I find is that folks search me out after they get to their goal. It'd probably be best for us to focus on waiting to see how things go for you. My suggestions for Amy is continue on her weight loss journey. Her body will still have changes. After she's done with that, then we can proceed with having the surgery. I've been down this road, folks kind of hitting a brick wall. I, things just aren't yeah, it's kinda, budging I'm at a anymore. Plateau, and they, they get kind of frustrated. Hearing that I have more weight to lose is not exactly what I want to hear, but truth hurts. It's hard because after my weight loss surgery, for the first year I dropped weight like it was nothing. But now it's like hard to lose a pound. While it's not an immediate gratification to get where you want, the results are nicer. It's not a marathon, it's a sprint. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said that backwards. <laughs> My next steps are to, you know, lose more weight because the, the fat Amy's retired, the skinny Amy's ready to shine. Hey, you ready to work out? I guess so. I got an appointment with Dr. Smith coming up. I haven't been doing what Dr. Smith's been asking me. So now I'm trying to get this weight loss taken care of because I'm sorry to get my butt chewed. This is stuff I wear in a fit for mom. You got to roll your neck and then you roll your shoulders. Then you roll your chest. <laughs> I didn't learn that there, but I made that one up, okay? Tammy has a doctor's appointment with Dr. Smith coming up. So I really want to prove to Tammy that I'm here. I'm showing her support. I'm right here. We're working out together. But in reality, I'm over here for me because I need to work out too. Like this. Okay. I don't know what this is called, but hey. Ow! <laughs> I hit my no no zone. Ow! How am I going to get pregnant again? Oh, God. I lost my it seems like Amy has forgotten everything she learned for fit for mom. Hey, I just realized mom matches. Oh. I missed it. <laughs> these damn things. Oh, my God. I'm trying to motivate Tammy because I do have my worries about Philip, the new boyfriend. He loves big women, but she needs to lose this weight. Mm. So, so what's going on? With the look. We broke up. Was it a mutual breakup? Well, I guess you can say I did it. Because I was tired of fighting with him and Just, he, he said my insecurities were my problem. And like at the beginning of the relationship, I told him, I was like, can you promise me you'll help me through my insecurities? He said they got to be too much. Tammy told me she broke up with Phil and I'm like, about damn time. Now you need to work on yourself. Tammy don't need somebody that wants her to be a glutton. Now that your Dr. Smith's appointment coming up, 
you gotta show some real progress, so we gotta do this like every day. Mm-hmm. Even when I'm not around. I'm hoping with the whole breakup, it don't deter Tammy away from the, her weight loss because she needs to lose this 25 pounds. The doctor gave her a go. So you ready to do some squats? No, I can't do squats. I don't know how this doctor's appointment go because Tammy didn't break a sweat with this workout. I broke my That's all I do. Quack, quack. Oh. <laughs> Today's the nurse's first day on the job. Thank God we finally picked a person. Tammy wants a friend, and I need somebody to help her get more independent. So that was a whole compromisation with me and Tammy. And she was just fun to kick it with. I need this to work because my kid is my number one priority now. Man. Hello. Hi. Hold on, son. Sorry, I got How y'all doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. How you doing, Tammy? Okay. I'm a home health aide for 30 years. I'm from Henderson, Kentucky. I'm a pretty easygoing person. I like to help people. I'm just who I am. What you see is what you get. Amy and Tammy, you can tell they're sisters. They look like they're pretty close. They're kind of entertaining. So, what are we gonna do today? A little house cleaning and meal prep. Okay, hey. You like to cook? Mm-hmm. Maybe we can go for a walk. Wanna go for a walk? Just to the mailbox and back or something. God damn it, Amy. No. You don't want to? Tammy. Keeping Tammy mobile and up doing stuff is important because if she loses her mobility, she will be bed bound. After that is death. Hold on a second, I need to pee. Okay, you go ahead and pee. I need Tisa to keep Tammy on track, to get Tammy exercising, and she's there to help clean, help cook. Help is the key word there, not do it for her. So I want to pull Tisha away to the side to let her know the rundown. Tammy can be kind of stubborn sometimes, so stick to your guns. Oh, really? No matter how much she gets pissed off. Does she act like that? Yeah, she's rude sometimes. Really? Yeah, she don't get her way, she's rude. Oh? She's burned every bridge she had. I'm the last family member with a green. Oh. Well, we'll be, well, I'm gonna do my best with her. She just gotta get some trust in. Tammy can be a helpful, a helpful, a handful. It's one of the things I had to leave out of the ad. So what we're gonna have to eat? Do you use a cookbook? Are uh, you one of them persons put a little bit of this and a little bit of that? Mm. So you're not giving out no recipes, are you? <laughs> I can't give away all of my secrets. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm excited to have a stranger in my house going through my things, but it might be nice to have someone to talk to and kick it with. The hell am I fixing? On a salad? No. No salad. Hell no. She can steam that broccoli and cauliflower. Yeah, but the burger, none of this makes sense. Once again, Amy went to the store and didn't get the right things to make a decent meal that I would know how to prepare. What can you have with? Is it meat in, in that diet? A lot of meat? I'm not making hamburger patties. Well, let's just make them and then you look like you. Okay. Tammy and Tisha are having a discussion about the meal prep. But Tammy, of course, has to give her an attitude. The whole idea of getting a home health nurse was to make lives easier for Tammy and me. But if Tammy and Tisa can't get along, there ain't no way for this to work. Hey, let's get let's get chopping. I'm gonna put the meat in here, and you get that far going. Well, you gonna help me, aren't you? Well, you gonna starve me to death. 
Now, you ain't no baby. You got this. When she gets mad like that, and she don't have the things that she wants, you got to kind of push her. I don't want her never say that I can't. That's, that's, that's not going to go. She can't do it. Where'd you learn how to cook? Trial by air. Mm, girl. Tisa and I seem like a pretty good team. Having Tisa around is a lot better than having Amy around. Tisa is not going to argue with me. And if she does, she's, like, playful, where Amy's just the And she got this little stove going. I love it. Throughout the day, there was a little resistance on Tammy's part, but I think Tisa is the right fit. I'm hoping she can help Tammy stay on the right path to the diet and eventually get the surgery and allow me to take care of my own family. Okay, everybody. This is good, nice and healthy, high in protein. I'm Gage's mama. There's a difference between baby and Tammy. But that's Tisa's problem now. Hey, Tisa. What's going on? Um, I just want to see how Tammy's doing. Well, you know what? It's getting better. You know, my first first couple of days, kind of getting used to me and stuff. Each day I go, she seems like she's getting a little more happy. You know, smiling more and, you know. That's what she needs. She needs a friend. You know. And a parent. Yeah. You know. So do you have any concerns about her? My main concern is just trying to keep her mobility you know, where she can stay mobile. Just little things that she can do or try to do to help her. What type of exercises she can do? She can exercise her arms. She can exercise her fingers. But you got to yeah. make her do it. What the f What? This is not working out. Maybe a finger, I guess, but the fingers are not the fat part. You got to work out the whole body, girl. How's the walking going? Well, you know, that walking's going to be a struggle. And when I say something about that walking, it's just like a, no. a, de a defense. And like she said, I'm already doing stuff with my hands. I cook. I said, yeah, you awesome with your hands. What about getting her out of the house? Like, take her to some place she actually likes and wants to be. Yeah, but most of the time she said, no, I'm not walking today. I've, I've, I've done this and I've done that. I said, oh, OK, but I, I'm going to go every, every day I go. I'm going to see where she walk. Tammy did like 30 to an hour worth of physical therapy while she was up in rehab every day. But now she ain't doing shit. I'm really pissed at this point. Tammy had a fire under her ass to lose this weight. She came out of rehab, balls of blazing. So what the happened? I'm going to try my hardest. I'm praying. Mm -hmm. I'm praying, because I don't want her to have a back, so I want her to keep going forward. Yeah, I mean, yeah.